Welcome to the laboratory of electron-induced fluorescence. This is the laboratory where we are focused on the studies of the collisions of electrons with molecules. In this apparatus, this is the vacuum chamber. Inside the vacuum chamber, we have two beams. One is the electron beam and uh, the other one is the molecular beam. And they collide in the center of the chamber. During these collisions, some of the electrons pass a little bit of their kinetic energy to the molecules. It can happen several things to them, but uh, many of uh, these molecules will get to the so-called excited states. So they have way more energy than they would like to, and they want to get rid of the energy. One of the ways to get rid of the energy is to emit a photon. So they will basically shine a tiny bit of light. And when they emit a photon, we can collect the photons by means of optical emission spectroscopy. Behind the vacuum chamber there we have a spectrometer. By analyzing the spectrum of these photons, we can learn more about the molecule, about the energetic levels of the, of the molecule. Since uh, the energy of the molecules is quantized, then the molecule can have only certain amount of energies. And by analyzing the photon, we can find out what is the energy of the photon and the energy of the photon corresponds precisely to the difference of two energetic levels within the molecules. Our experimental apparatus consists of a vacuum chamber and an optical system. In this vacuum chamber, an uh, electron beam is generated by electron monochromator and there is also a molecular beam that is generated by capillary. Um, these two uh, beams interact with each other and uh, one of the results are excited particles. Uh, these particles uh, de-excite and uh, with this de-excitation they emit photons or radiation. Uh, these photons are then directed out of the vacuum chamber into our optical system, more specifically into optical monochromator, which separates our photons according to the wavelength. And then these photons are analyzed by two detectors, either a photomultiplier or a CD camera. These detectors give information on the emission spectra and also excitation emission functions. By doing the optical emission spectroscopy, we will come up with the optical spectrum of the molecule. And uh, these data that, we, that this experiment are, are produced, this is of course the basic research, but uh, the spectra that uh, we produce can be very, very uh, useful in different uh, applications, in different scientific fields, rather scientific fields, not really engineering applications. One of them can be, for example, in the field of nanotechnology, where a new kind of microelectronics is being developed, or a different kind of application can be in astronomy. Uh, in astronomy, the emission of spectroscopy is one of the most important tools that we can use to study objects that are way too far uh, most of the objects in astronomy, as you can imagine, are too far to travel to them and do some kind of experiments or measurements directly uh, at the place. So we are dependent on the emission coming from the objects to us. And then we can do the emission spectroscopy of these objects and we can try to analyze and get out as many data as possible from these optical measurements. It is difficult to analyze it properly without having some kind of reference data that are measured in the laboratory and that are measured at stable conditions where we know exactly what is the energy of the electrons that are being collided with the molecules. We know exactly what is the temperature and so on and so on. So what we produce here are the reference data to deepen the analysis of the astronomical measurements. I'm really happy to be here in Slovakia. Uh, we work together with the Comenius lab on electron impact experiments. Uh, what, we're, what we're trying to do is find fingerprints of molecules that we can use then to um, uh, go to a telescope and look for the same fingerprints we see in the lab. We can, uh, we can use those to study physical processes uh, around other planets, moons and comets in the solar system. Uh, the, the experiments we do here are, are quite unique. The combination of uh, electron beams and sensitive spectrometers really allows us to mimic what we see in space. And as such, these are, uh, these are very important experiments to us. 
Our laboratory is the only one in Slovakia that is uh, involved in the Europlanet Consortium, which is the consortium of many European countries and uh, research institutes who focus on the planetary research. And within this project, many uh, foreign uh, scientists can come to our lab and basically use our setup to gain some new exciting data for their research.